local news that matters. You're watching KLBK bright and early. Welcome back. So Dina Jeffries joins us now from the Ronald McDonald House Charities of the Southwest. And of course, they are the fantastic organization that keeps families close together with their children during a child's illness or serious injury. But Dina, there have been a lot of changes going on there, right? There has been. We are still serving families with uh, critically ill or injured children in the hospitals, but we're having to do it in a little bit different way. We've adapted to having only family members stay here at the house instead of, you know, extended families and the uh, children are here. Um, and we've just had to adapt our daily interactions with uh, no volunteer program, no meal donors. So we're carrying on business as usual, just doing it in a little bit different way. So you're still providing the fantastic service that, that y'all provide to so many people, but oh. I would imagine that right now with everything going on, the COVID-19 pandemic, that donations have really dropped off, right? They have. Um, what we're seeing is that uh, we have seen a decrease in our donations and that could be due to uh, some of our donors going through hardships themselves. Um, you know, people aren't able to drop by the house and give uh, their cash or check donations. They are having to adapt to going online, which we've adapted to as well. We have a brand new RMHC of the Southwest app that can be downloaded free and then a uh, person can make their donation via the app. So that that is starting to help. Um, we are needing to, you know, still provide support to the families. So we still need our in-kind services, our donations of cleaning supplies, disinfectant supplies, uh, things like that now more than ever. So we're hoping that, you know, the community continues to come forward and support us just as they always have. We have such a wonderful community. Now, I did want to ask, how can the community um, get those supplies to you? Well, nobody can enter the Ronald McDonald House at this time, but we can. Uh, we have a bin on the outside uh, front porch area. Uh, donations can be dropped off there, and then before they enter the house, of course, they're wiped off, disinfected, and, and taken care of so that we don't bring in this unnecessary germs into the Ronald McDonald House, where you know we have families that have immunosuppressed and immunocompromised children. So we want to keep a healthy, clean environment uh, now, uh, just as we always have, but now more than ever. And I did want to ask one last question, Dina. Talk to me a little bit about the incredible services that y'all offer families in our area and across the country. Absolutely. Well, Ron McDonald House Charities, we do such good work. We keep families together while their child is receiving treatment in our local hospitals. And these children are critical. They are our cancer warriors. They are our premature births. They are uh, vehicular accidents. Um, you know, life happens, and just because uh, we are in a pandemic time, um, you know, families are still finding a health crisis with their, their children. Uh, now more than ever, they are needing us. Uh, we are happy to continue to provide services, but we can't do that with the, without the community's help. So we are really blessed that West Texans continue the tradition of giving and helping uh, the neighbor out, and we're just happy to be part of that. All right, Dina, thank you so much for being with us. Um, we are going to post all that information online, so um, anyone interested can find that information and give. Dina, thanks again so much. Oh, thank you for having us. Absolutely. You have a great rest of the day. We'll be right back.